To do fluorescence underwater, you're best off with a powerful blue light. We're often asked about the relative merits of getting a dedicated blue light versus adding an excitation filter to a powerful white light. Today we're going to look at three different lights. The Light in Motion Solar 1200 with a Night Sea excitation filter, the Light in Motion Solar Night Sea, which is a dedicated blue light, and the Night Sea Blue Star. The Solar 1200 is a great light. It's got nine white LEDs, three inner ones for a spot beam and six outer ones for a flood beam, and they're in three intensity levels in each of those modes. The Solar Night Sea is essentially the same light, except instead of having white LEDs, it's got blue LEDs to start with, plus an excitation filter to further trim the output. The Blue Star has a single blue LED and also has that trimming excitation filter. First, let's look at these visually. Here's the beam from the filtered Solar 1200, spot mode, full power. Add the beam from the Blue Star. And now the Solar Night Sea. Again, spot mode, full power. Now let's make some quantitative measurements. We've got a meter here that's calibrated to read blue light and energy units connected to a detector that we've got mounted to a tripod. We can turn that on. And we've got a simple fixture here so that we can hold the lights uh, steady at a constant distance from the detector. We can turn each one on and take a reading in each of the modes and get a real, uh, real comparison of how much light is coming out. We'll display the data on this graph. So I'm with 1200 in low power, medium, full, now the blue star, and the solar night sea, low power, medium, full. Note that the blue star is fairly powerful and it's a good light, but the solar night sea puts that high power over a much larger area. Now here's another way to look at this. This is a small fiber optic spectrometer, and we've got it pointed at this reflective surface. Uh, it reads out on a computer. And if we shine the light on it, what we'll do is we'll get a readout on the computer screen and we can record the data of the energy as a function of wavelength. And we can really see what's going on with the light this way. Here's the output of the white Soma 1200. And we add the filter to isolate just the blue part of the spectrum. Let's look at this data together. Here's the Soma 1200 white light output. Now we add the filter. This area shaded in black is light that the Soma 1200 is emitting, but we're in effect throwing away when using it as a blue light, all wasted energy. This energy we are not using is a bit more than 80% of the total output. And overlay the spectrum from the Soma Night Sea. All the energy is going right where we need it. Thanks for watching, and contact us if you have any questions. Most important, get out and dive.